so we got our chicken wings we're gonna find a bone over here you see the small one first and we go it around then twist it sideways twist it again and just pull it out you see just the bone and same thing with this bone just twist it sideways and pull it out boom and you got straight up meat you can dip it and eat it very simple what's up guys today i got boiled eggs like uh, uh like this one boiled eggs you know i'm sure you have boiled eggs before let's check it out you know how to peel an egg the right way or the russian way you crack an egg on top like this small crack and then you crack an egg on the bottom on his ass pretty much and then you peel a small hole like that it is pretty small and then you crack a bigger hole on the bottom like oh let's see you see the small hole big hole and then you just like you know put this small hole closer to your mouth and just blow as hard as you can <laughs> freaking crazy huh check this out guys can you see me this freaking awesome isn't it let's try the other one this normal leg right normal this is a normal leg huh take the piece off of it then I take a piece a big bigger a little bit off of it man this is freaking awesome I bet you didn't know that if you did you know like this video okay, you see how 80% of it or 90 is still is in the pill and just a small tip off bigger tip off right here and that's just like perfect peel off egg and it's not even hard boiling half long mm. all right we're gonna take out the hot potato just boiled into the icy cold water let's see we're gonna keep it for like 10 seconds cut it in half like that Okay, after 10 seconds, you just pull it firmly on two sides right here. And it's still really hot and you got peeled potato. A lot of people use those dresses to put clothes in and a lot of hotels have, pretty much almost every hotel I've been in have a dresser, you know, to put your clothes in. But how do you want to put the clothes in so it's actually very easy to take them out let's check it out so usually a lot of people to put in their clothes like that i would assume so because this is what i used to do and it's really hard to find a shirt i want to actually use you know or the sweaters too it's so annoying especially if you have a lot of them so today i'm gonna show you the best way to fold your t-shirts and sweater and the best way to put them in the dresser so you take out and you see every shot of yours you want to wear. So how do you fold your shot? In half like that and then put this ones in here and like that. And then put it in a dresser just like that and you pile it in. Instead of doing this, all you have to do, do one more fold. And you want to do the same thing with all your, of your shots. So, and you actually will have more space that way as well. So they're gonna look like that. And then you wanna stack them up with that one folder here. Not with this one. You see there's mental. This one, nice one. Then we're gonna grab our shorts and stick them like that. Same thing with the sweaters. And put them like that, simply. And you see you have one more row 
to put shorts or sweater side here so you can close it like that and next time you need a t-shirt you just open it and just go over which shirt you want but you already know your shorts so you see the colors oh i know this shirt oh i know oh i want to wear this shirt you just take it out ah i changed my mind you just pull it up stick it back in uh maybe this two you take this two out ah, i don't like them you could put them put them back in easily you know and you don't have to go through all of them same thing with the sweaters you're like oh uh, which one i can just take this one put them back in and then once you got all you need you just closed it you know there is a lot of talking on the internet that you can diffuse a soda can or a beer can if it's shaking off you just stop on it and it's uh diffusing and you open it right away after you tap it and it's not gonna form at all or like a li very little so today i'm gonna do experiment and see if it's uh, fake or not let's check it out so I'm gonna shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Couple of times dropped it, shake it up. And all you gotta do, hold it by the top. Do a bunch of spinning like that. You can do like that, you can do tap on it, whatever, on the side. And let's see if we're gonna open it now. Well, that didn't work. Let's start it again. All right, let's start this again. Shake it off a couple times, the apples. You know, when you buy it from vending machine, it's it's all shaking off. You know, when you buy it from the box. Tap it a couple times on the side. Wait a second. Okay, let's open it. That's a fail again. I know you guys, what do you think? Is it all fake stuff? Let's try this again. This time I'm gonna use two cans, shake them up so they will be for me when you open it or explode. So, and I'm gonna tap on one and see which one will explode less. Alright, let's do it. Shake it up, drop it a couple times, you know, when you buy it from vending machine. Alright, I think it's pretty, pretty good. So, I'm gonna up on one of them and we see the comparison because I'm gonna open two of them this one just standing over there all right that should be enough and all right you be the judge does it really help you whenever you tap on a can I'm gonna show you a video that you've been using public restroom wrong. You know one of those papers like that where you put on a seat? Well, how do you usually use it? I think you probably been using it wrong. Let's check it out. So let's say I'm in a public restroom and I pull out one of these pieces to put it on a toilet like that. So I can sit out and I don't wanna sit on a dirty thing so I can like sit on paper right but most of you probably put in it like that and like rip it off here and here and here and then drop it inside and put it like that right well that's not right or some of you even would rip off this piece put it inside over there and then put it like that well, you just messed it up. That's not right either. So this way, putting it or ripping it off is actually not the right way to do it. The right way is actually, you wanna rip off these pieces first. Boom, and boom. And so, most of you, it, it even look like you wanna put it this way, because this one is look alike. You see the circle and closing this so it looks like you wanna put this thing just like that you know actually you supposed to put it this way you know this way exactly it's actually says on a box so but we don't see the box because they actually protected in a special thing and then you want to drop this thing inside here 
You see what I'm saying? Let me show you close up. So you see this paper? So for guys, it's especially nice. Over here paper, if you sit down and pull out your schlang, you don't have to worry about touching with your schlang uh, the bottom of a toilet. You know what I mean? Some people have this kind of problem. Or when you pee over here, it's not gonna splash. It's just gonna hit the paper and kind of roll off the paper. So this is actually the right way to do it. And when you're done, of course, you can use your leg to kind of drop it off and flush. Don't just leave it on the toilet. Don't be a douchebag. Flush always in the public restroom before you leave. And of course, before you poop, grab one of this toilet paper and lay it flat as possible. You know, on the toilet. You know why you need this toilet paper there? Because whenever you're gonna drop the bomb, it's not gonna splash and splash your butt. So, you're already kind of breaking the tension of the water with toilet paper. So, it's just gonna go right through. And the air not gonna go inside as much. And not gonna make a big splash. Yesterday, one of my friends was peeling orange with a knife and she had a lot of problems. She was peeling it like that and she would peel it with a little bit of orange and orange juice, you know, it would just spray out everywhere. And you know, when you get orange on your hands, it gets very sticky and nasty. So, or if you peel it with your finger, sometimes you just like takes so much time to peel it like piece by piece you know what I mean so I'm gonna show you a very simple way to do it you grab a finger over here and here you know on these two dots and find approximately middle and cut it too but don't cut it all the way in half just cut it when you feel it's it's like you cut to the peel but you don't cut to the orange you know like very little bit and just keep going all the way around like that and you see I come back all the way around and now all you do is you see peel it up like that and just go around like this Look how simple it is. And now on the other side. Stick a finger in there and go around it. You see, very simple and very fast way to peel it, to separate the yolks, you know what I mean, from the white stuff. Because my friend is a cook and one time he was like separating the yolk with hands like that, turn it around and sometimes he would lose, and sometimes he would lose some of the yolk. So all you're gonna need is empty bottle and you squeeze it, now check, check it closer, squeeze it and Suck it in like that. Ah, too fast. Okay, check it out. Perfectly yolk egg without any white stuff. Let's try another one. Let's squeeze it. And like that, you know? So you got four pieces like that, right? Well, when you eat it, let's say you eat it all this. So when you eat it, let's say you ate this part and when you have to eat this part, you touch it, you touch watermelon to your face like this. So all your watermelon, all your face in the watermelon. So right now I'm gonna show you how to avoid that. How to avoid messing up your face, especially for kids, you know. You just grab it like that and cut this piece out and cut this piece out. And check this out. This is just genius. You didn't waste any watermelon, as you see. And now when you eat it, you're not gonna mess up your face. Let's demonstrate. So you can start from the top. 
from this side, you can go from the other side. You see, and my face is clean.